Okie dokie. Round one, keepable hand. Probably lead with the cloistered youth. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna get all up in that. Hopefully we top deck a land that'll enable us to gather plus collar. I do like me some cloistered youth. They turn into whores. Horrors. Black cat, you say? Yeah, I think I'm going to play my collar and gather and not really care about the black cat. I think we can afford to pitch any of this. Hopefully not the voiceless spirit. Alright, I can live with that. Hopefully not something too big. I'd like to save my Nibbles if possible. A land so I could play Voiceless plus Collar would be nice. Alright, that's fine. Perfect. So we'll... Oh, it's two to equip. Hmm. I could quip up. I think I'll just run out the voice of the spirit. Swing in with just the fiend. I suppose that'd be a little bust of his one to play and one to equip, huh? So another land we could Nibbles plus equip and really get to town. Rut row. Pure bloods, eh? Mana? Spectral Rider. Well, I say we just tap that down and swing in. So if we swing just here, he takes five. We could lose a human to get him to six. He's going to have the pure bloods back next turn, but he'll want to block the unholy fiend. So yeah, I think I'll just swing in here. I want to get as many spirits as I can. And this counterpart's going to be pretty nice with the Snibbles and the Mist. Oh, he's swinging in, huh? No block, sir. Alright. So I think we tap that down.
We can either play the rider or suit up. I think we just run out some more pressure. We lose our fiend here, but we get in for six. And we've played out our hand, so we gotta go for it. I don't think we're gonna be getting to that seven man anytime soon. I'd love a virtue off the top. Or a captain. That would be nuts. Alrighty, so where do we want to put this? We could just slam it on the first striker. Let's see, we... Can we just kill him here? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, I think that's fine. He blocks 3, and he takes... Well, maybe not. <laughs> He's going to take five is all. Yeah, let's throw it on the... the voiceless spirit. And he didn't play anything, so I think I'll just... swing in here. Kill either of his guys. He'll take me down, but I'll get rid of his recluse. Oh, I didn't even notice the Vigilance. That is a great card. And he just takes it. Very, oh, nope. What's he got? Rebuke. I suppose I can't be too surprised about it. Maybe I should have just brought him down to one. Uh, I don't know. One more mana for cackling flashback. We have a good number of top decks that'll help us a lot. I like Cackling and Counterpart with Virtue. Make uh, tokens of awesome creatures and they get bonuses. But we are going to have to get some damage in here. I can only imagine the bombs he's got in three colors. Alright, there was my collar. Well, that's a good one. So we can take out both his flyers. Yeah, I think we just stop dinking around. We're going to get in for two. Kill both his flying protection and then we hopefully we can hit him hit him if he gets no uh, other air defense and if we get a land we'll have double captain Just gotta dodge and out to our captain. He's been playing some turd so far, so hopefully he's out of good stuff. Not the case. Alright, he's gonna go get something that'll deal with our stuff. But he's gonna go to one. I can't think of a one mana green spell that 
prevents them from taking two damage. What do we got? A bell ringer. Yeah, let's just attack with the captain. I don't want to lose another human unnecessary. Wonder what he got. Hopefully, it's just a creature. Because I know I have two blockers, but. Uh, Alright. More dudes. So that went pretty well. Break a day doesn't seem actually all that bad here. another trick. What do I like it more than? I think we'll just keep it as is. Stay aggressive. Uh, hmm. Yeah, you had some removal. I'll keep the mask in too. And this hand is not all that strong. Got a virtue though and a guard, so probably worth a shot. Gonna need two blue again. Ooh. Looks like he's gonna be off to the fast start. He's, he's whipping it up on us. Take that. <laughs> the most unexciting virtue at the moment. So we're going to lead with Niblis. Little Niblis Cathar. Plus Nibbles tap effect next turn. Or the following turn, I guess. Better phrasing. Still seem the man to flip this guy, which I'm thankful for. Or this gal. Just take your time, bud. Don't rush anything. Well, that changes things a bit. I think it's still in our interest to play Niblis. We're going to take 7 next turn if he flashes back, but this will prevent damage on the long run. And we can play Mausoleum Guard next turn without the tap. But I think we're going to want to keep the tap around. Hmm. Yeah, we get tap and bell ringer to block. I'm taking five years, okay. Yeah, I think we just hold out for Bell Ringer. Tap Bell Ringer, block either one, and just take two. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Then hopefully we get a land so we can get our guard into play. Imagine he's going to travel prep here. Get our stops all lined up.
travel prep. Maybe he spreads it out on these two guys. I mentioned some combat maths going on. Alright. Pretty good play on his part. So we'll tap the bat, I guess. Boy, if we had another blue mana, we could tap, bell ringer, tap, prevent everything. I mean, we could double up to kill something, but not that cool of a play. A pump spell would actually be pretty shitty here. Mana. Or not. Uh, we need our tap effect, so I think I'll just play Cathar. And probably double block the sentry. So our aggressive deck turned into the controlling deck all of a sudden. We've been on our heels the entire game. Where's that? On our heels. He's been on our heels, maybe. Yeah. Like a cow dog. And I guess that makes us a cow. Tip the flyer. And I think I'll double up on the sentry here. Go to four. And he decides not to kill anything. Interesting. Morbid. Oh, his own Muslim guard. Come on, mana. Not to be. Well. Well, we can collar plus equip. It'll give us one spirit. I mean, our other option is Nibblus or Captain, but yeah, I think it's better off. Well, if he's got the Bramble Crush again. Oh, either way, we're not going to die. So we'll throw the collar on the Cathar. That'll let us kill a Pilgrim and block the guard without killing it. So, uh, Bell Ringer is actually pretty good right now. Being able to block things is better than killing them right now. Yeah, his attacks are not that good right now. I'm really curious what's in his hand. I love Nibblus. It's rare I have a game where it's not good. Yeah, your attacks are not good, buddy. Really want that mana for to get my guard into play. And he whiffs. Well, I think we just play our Nibbles of the Mist. Tapping out his guard and getting in for 3 damage.
Yeah, another blue man would be pretty good. Rebuke. I am okay with that. Let's so get a big bell ringer. I mean, I could put it on the Nibblest to trade here. Which actually isn't terrible. Well, I'm going to have a spirit. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll just get a big bell ringer. I can kill the pilgrim that way. And let the token production begin. Oh, he's got more tricks. Ambush Viper. Alright. Pretty thankful he hasn't had the second black. I suppose either way I'm just going to be tapping it down. I'm actually okay with him having some 1-1s. One oh, that tournament's complete. Yeah, I can't afford to take damage here. Abby Griffin. Still no blue mana. Really holding us back. I mean, our options are are to play the mask. And then keep man open to tap something. We trade here, block here, we take two, go to two. Other, other option is to play the captain. But that won't let us tap, so we'll have to trade here, block here, take three. Well, I guess we could block, kill that as well. Well, if we play the captain, we're going to want to probably kill everything, so block there, block there, block here, block there, take one. Or there's feeling a dread to tap like that, tap, tap, give us another turn. If we play Mask plus Feeling of Dread, we tap here, tap here, take one, but we have a Mask in play, which doesn't do a whole lot. Could just equip in Feeling of Dread. That'll let us do a little damage. I think I'll just get Captain going. And do some aerial battles. Probably take the two from the Griffin. But we'll attack for three. Hopefully prompt some trades or a chump block, but doubt it. So gonna take some damage this round. If he's got a trick, we could very well die. But not hitting lands for several, several turns. 
What's this beast? <laughs> yeah. oh, you, can't, you can't be mad at that. Yes, yeah, I think we're set up just fine. I like all our stuff. Let's just hopefully don't get so skimped on mana. All right, let's play first and see the god draw. <laughs> oh man, can't keep that. Ah, well, why? Why of all games? We have a turn one play. Uh, I'm gonna go to five and keep this turd. Ah, uh, that's frustrating. Really frustrating. At least he's a little slow. I'll lead with the Niblis. If he doesn't play anything, I'm not going to attack just for fear of rebuke. I don't want to play into him there. I suppose Midnight Guard would have been better, but I probably don't think he's going to trade anyway. And that's our hand. Let's hope it's enough. Yep. Well, I'm all about getting damage in this game, so... We're going to get rebuked somewhere. I guess not. Oh, maybe. He's got to have it. Probably Midnight Guard. Afraid of the intimidator. I really hope we get out of this round. I feel like our deck is pretty sweet. And we're just having the worst mana issues. I guess when the... Ah, oh, he's got spiders. Well, I can tap now. Trade off. Yeah, I think that's worth it. We gotta win as fast as possible. We have no action. We're so behind. I feel like we're just getting beat beat up with jank too. Abby Griffins and I guess Spider's legit sideboard tech. Rebuke is good. But uh if we had mana game too, I think we'd take that one easy. Uh, 
All right. Here comes the pain. So he's going to have us. Or not. So we're looking to build up for one good swing. Because swinging here does not benefit us. We get two points of damage in but lose a guy. So I'd rather tap down two creatures. Let's put up our stop. Gonna tap the spider. He's gonna swing in. Drop us to eight. I suppose I could... Yeah, I'll tap the griffin. Chump the spider if he wants to swing in. I just, my hope is he doesn't have two creatures to play. But then if he doesn't play anything, he's got a handful of spells. <laughs> just a lot of bad scenarios for us. Virtue off the top would be okay. Assuming he doesn't play anything sweet. I am gonna. Well. If I put all my dudes on it, I can kill it. But then if he's got another one, that puts me really far behind. Yeah, I think it's best just to block with the Cathar. Probably put the tokens on just, or yeah, put his tokens, or counters rather, counters on tokens. He's in the tank. I'll uh, pause it for you guys and gals. Oh, he decided to swing in. So let's block. Get a three-three. Captain, I will take. I suppose playing that post combat would have been ideal. That's six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think I'll just go for it. Ambush Viper plus Rebuke would be devastating. Nothing? How can he not have anything with those six cards? Shock and awe. Well, what kills us? How does he do four? I think I have to block just to be on the safe side. I mean, I don't want to die to double pump spell or something. Six cards is a lot of stuff to get through. He's got to play two creatures and have a removal spell. Oh, thank God. Mold of five. Always gets my anxiety boiling. So, uh, very thankful to get out of that round one. Close. Tons of man issues. Hopefully that's the worst of it, and only bright, shining future is ahead of us. Okie. Okay.